Hey guys, at my school gym again, and the last video kind of went over the exercises that I like to do for my lower body. I wanted to do some for the shoulders too that are a little unique, and I thought that might really help. So um, I'm gonna give two in, these, in this angle, and then we're gonna go to a different part of the gym to show the other two. And again, you don't need heavy weights. You can actually use something, some, something that, that I mean, weights are great, but something that's a little heavy in your hand is fine. And you're gonna see how difficult this can be because it's related to flexibility. If you increase your mobility and your shoulders, you will not have such a high risk of injury because it will increase your range of motion with high mobility. So that will allow you to not strain yourself beyond your range of motion as easily when you're not as flexible. So the whole point then is to start working on strength, but with the correct mobility as well. So what we're going to do is we're going to work on a few exercises with the light weights. Tennis players should be using light weights anyways. And this one relates to putting one arm out and holding it there. And you want to be, you want to lift your arm up as straight as you can and above your ear as you can. I'm going to put my forehead into the ground or into the, into the bench here. And then I'm going to just kind of wrap this side. So it looks like this. So. And then I'm gonna try the other side. I'm trying to hold this out as far as I can. And this one now is gonna do the same thing. And then you can alternate and keep going in that direction. So the point is you're trying to stretch out your arm Feel your lats getting a little tight, so you really want to stretch. You might be shaking a little bit on this, and heavy weights are not important. In fact, I'll be surprised if anyone can do it with pretty heavy weights, because at first it's really, really difficult to try this, okay? And then if you can't even, you don't even need to do weights. If you can if you're struggling with this, form is way more important. You're trying to work your your back, mu uh, back muscles. So, you know, holding it here, keeping your head down, and then just just very deliberate actions and making sure that you're really focusing on using the right muscles, meaning the back of your, of your shoulders, trying to work on stabilizing that shoulder, okay? So the next one will be where I'm coming down to the ground here, and this is called a snow angel, I believe. I'm not positive on this one, but this is a really good one as well, where you're trying to lift your, keep your arms out in front of you as much as possible while laying face down. And you're going to want to um, go all the way out in a full range, uh, pinching your shoulder blades and going as far down as you can and all the way above. You're trying to keep your, your um, hands above your ear. So you're trying to lift it up. So it looks kind of like this. So I'm gonna stretch out here and I'm gonna put my head down and then I'm going to lift my, leg, my arms up and I'm just gonna keep them and try to go to my back pocket here. And then I'm gonna go all the way back. So the idea then is you wanna make sure that you're keeping your, your arms straight and keeping them above your ear. So you're lifting them up and you're gonna really see that you're working the backs the muscles in your back, which are really important because tennis is a forward motion and we're trying to work out the, the muscles in the back to strengthen that side to have a balance and also um, alleviate the pressure of, you know, having slumped shoulders, right? We want to pinch everything back and we want to be strong on both, both ends, okay? So let's look at the other ones where we're going to use something called a cross, crossover symmetry band. All right, here I am on the other part of the gym, and what I want to talk about is uh, using a crossover uh, symmetry band. So you can see I'm using one that's this. It looks like uh, it's a yellow 10-pound weight uh, resistance on it. You can use anything, anything that works is usually, um, I would say, 8 pounds and less. 10 is, 10 is pretty high, but you can do whatever you feel is necessary but I'm just hooking them up to some straps about shoulder width apart. 
a little bit further than that. And then the idea is just like the name, you're going to keep it crossed over. Okay. And there are a ton of exercises to do for these and you can look them up. Just look up over cross uh, crossover symmetry exercises. There's a bunch. I'm just going to go over three of them that I do because like I said in my last video, uh, time is important. I don't have time to work out for a very long time. So I'm going to do these where I'm going to have um, my exercises mainly trying to work my scapula, my, um, my shoulder, my shoulder blades, try to work out the muscles over there and I'm trying to pull everything back. So I'm going to be bringing my, my trying to step back so I feel some resistance in the bands and then all I'm going to do is push back here. And I'm just making sure that I'm feeling it more on my back shoulders than my front. And I'm just pushing back, maybe holding it, trying to stick out your chest and just making sure it's very slow and deliberate. And then also with your breathing. All right. The next one I like to do too is working on your rotator cuff. So you gotta be careful about this with doing too heavy weights. Okay. But you're going to lift up and you're going to try to keep your elbows, at a 90 degree angle with, uh, with the wall here. And I'm just going to try to pivot, keep this elbow from moving. I'm gonna use this as my pivot point. So I'm gonna keep an eye on that, making sure it's not moving. It's about shoulder height and I'm just lifting up and down. So I'm just doing nice and slow, deliberate actions and trying to feel the shoulder muscles working I don't want to be pulling. I don't want to use my body. That means I'm doing too heavy weight. All right. I don't want to be moving anything else. Okay. So that one's a really good one. I can feel it in working my shoulders, especially in tennis when we're serving. It's a really good exercise. The next one I like to do similar to the one where we did the snow angel, where I showed with the weights while you're laying face down where I'm facing straight ahead, obviously keeping my, uh, my arms straight ahead, straight to my side. And all I'm doing is lifting them up behind me and then over my shoulders and then back. So I'm going to go to my side, lift up all the way up above my shoulder and then back down and then rest for a second. So this allows me to pinch my shoulder blades, work the tops of my shoulders and back by my shoulder blades here and all the way around. So I'm just working on mobility and working on trying to get my shoulders um, to have a, uh, obviously be strong, but with a nice range of motion. All right. So the next one, so those are the exercise, exercises I do with crossover symmetry. You can do as many as you want. There's a ton more than that. The next one I like to do though, is going against the, um, a flat wall and trying to lay my shoulders. This is really hard for me. I have a, I had a broken collarbone that didn't heal quite right. So my left arm is, doesn't do it quite well enough. But the idea is I'm going to lay against the wall, pretend the wall's behind me and I'm going to lift up my elbows, trying to lift them up while keeping the forearm against the wall and then bringing my wrist back and bending my wrist here. So I'm going to look like this if I was facing you on the wall and then I'm going to lean down and I'm going to make sure my lower back touches the wall. Sounds kind of easy. It is definitely not, not for me at least. All right. So it looks like this. So I'm going to lean down in the back. I'm going to lean down a little bit. I'm going to make sure my lower back is touching the wall. Okay. I'm going to lift my arm up and I'm going to try to keep my forearm against the ground, against the wall here and keep my wrist bent here. So I'm going to do that on this side too. And I'm going to hold it here. And if I feel like that's easy and my lower back is touching the wall, I lift up my shoulders a little bit more or my elbows a little bit more. And I just want to hold it and you're going to feel all the little muscles in your back trying to stabilize and trying to work your back muscles because you're bringing everything so back. It's really difficult. At first, I've seen a lot more progress, but the whole point though um, of these is that you should see results on the tennis court. You know, my serve has gotten stronger. Uh, I don't feel sore the next day as much. Um, it just feels a lot better in terms of avoiding injury. You know, tennis 
is a game to be played, not won. So I just want to play it for as long as I can. So I'm, I think I'm on the right track with the exercises. So give it a shot. I hope they help you and stay injury free and enjoy the game that we all love, right? Enjoy.